Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. In past videos, I've covered several Beretta handguns and how they've evolved over time. Introduced in the 70s, the Beretta 92 series are short recoil semi-automatic pistols that feature a double action, single action trigger pull and are chambered in 9mm being fed from 15 round magazines. Since its introduction, it's been adopted by many police and military forces around the world and continues in that capacity. It's a timeless design and it works well. However, changes were needed to keep up with advances in pistol technology. One of the main advances seen on modern pistols is the adoption of an accessory rail. Beretta saw this need to adapt to that new technology, and so in 2006, they began producing the 92. Not to be confused with the 92. I have a video that goes over that in more detail, and I'll add a link to it. At any rate, at the same time as the 92 fiasco was starting, they also modified the military contract M9s with the rail. By 2010, the 92 proved to be a commercial failure, and it was phased out. With rails being added now to the standard 92FS line creating the A1 series that's common today. So what do you do if you possess one of the hundreds of thousands of 92FS pistols produced without a rail, and you want to be able to mount a lighter laser? Well, you have some choices. You can ditch the pistol you have and acquire a newer version that has a rail, or you can modify the one that you have. We're going to talk about the second option, modifying the one that you have. There's a couple of options to add a rail to a Beretta pistol. One common option are units that attach to the front of the trigger guard and run under the dust cover. There's a variety of manufacturers with some slight differences, but they all are similar with the same basic idea. These work, and I've tried a couple, but they all have the look of something bolted on, which of course they are. I wanted something that looked a little more cohesive. A few years ago, I found a company called Recover Tactical that manufactures a replacement grip and rail system for the Beretta, and I thought I would check them out. Recover Tactical produces a combined grip and rail system that replaces the standard grip panels of the pistol, wrapping a high-grade glass reinforced polymer shell around the entire frame of the pistol, and it adds an accessory rail. The end result is a stable rail platform that's integrated with the pistol. A variety of color choices are available. I chose a black one. Let's take a closer look. And before working on any firearm, you need to make sure you are free and clear. Take the magazine out. That's empty. And open up the firearm and chamber area is free and clear. So we're good to start working on our Beretta 92. So the recover system is basically a grip and an outer covering for the frame of the firearm. So it goes on kind of like that. It replaces the grip panels and so that allows it to to stay very thin to the firearm and doesn't add any any width to it and it seems a little flimsy uh, maybe a little when you're first looking at it but once it's on the firearm everything is, is very good and solid so first basically you just remove the grip panels And you'll be reusing your original grip screws. And once the old grips are removed, you simply put the new grip on. And you can start from either side. And we got our one side on. Now there's two screws on this system itself where it screws to uh, itself on the front. So need to make sure everything is lined up. Now if you notice on one side there's little hex uh, holes and obviously that's where your, your hex nut will go. Then on the other side you will put the fastener in. And 
doing the same thing for the on the front. And make sure it's all lined up good. Make sure everything's snugged down. And that's really pretty much it. As you can see, the fit is very good. It's very solid and secure once it's on there. So I'll go ahead and and there we go. We've just modernized the Beretta 92. As far as operational controls of the pistol itself, uh, you still have access to the takedown lever, slide release, magazine release, and the lock button for the takedown lever. So you have full access to all the controls. It doesn't add any significant width to the grip. Uh, it actually, the, the grips are, you know, for all intents and purposes, they're the, the same thickness as what the original ones were. Uh, it does add a very slight amount of width to the trigger guard. However, in operation, uh, it's not really noticeable. Uh, you do have the front rail. Now, there is a little bit of flex. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, it's still a polymer uh, frame that goes around the, the frame itself. So, I mean, they're... they're it has points of contact around the trigger guard and of course the grip itself and then the rigidity of the the plastic itself and it's actually it's a, a fiberglass uh, reinforced polymer so it's fairly rigid uh, however there is a little bit of give so if you really you know you can get some deflection on it if you pull uh, but in actual general operation you're never going to notice that i've used this system uh, on this pistol actually uh, for several years and I haven't really had uh, any major issue with it. It's held up uh, just fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, there isn't really any significant wear and tear on, on it itself. Um, so uh, it does allow you to have your front rail uh, on your Beretta 92. So it, you know, there again, modernizes it quite a bit. And uh, as far as uh, everything else, sometimes uh, you will get a little bit of friction here in the takedown lever. So you might have to push on that a little bit more than what you did before. Uh, however, the trade-off is you have the front rail. So uh, that's pretty much it. I've fired hundreds of rounds through this 92 with this system mounted and have been very pleased with the results. To be completely fair, however, I do have to admit that it's not as solid of a platform as a more modern pistol that possesses an integrated rail system. There is some flex, which, while not impactful on a light, may cause laser sighting to not be 100%. However, the reality is that at normal pistol engagement ranges, these deviations would be largely inconsequential. Overall, the system allows you to keep one of these dependable workhorse pistols in active duty while enjoying the benefits of a rail. The best part is that not only does the rail system work well, it's actually a more affordable option than many of the trigger guard versions and definitely more affordable than an entire new gun. I hope that this information is of value, and if you like the video, I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback, and as always, until next week, stay safe.